It takes a lot of work to launch something into space, but it takes just as much, if not more work, to bring it back down to the ground again. SpaceX has been working on new ways to do both. Every time a rocket engine blows up, the source of the failure needs to be found so that it can be fixed. A new and improved engine is then designed, manufactured, shipped to the test site and fired, and the cycle begins again, until the only disassembly taking place is of the slow, scheduled kind. Perfecting rocket engines in this way is one of the main sources of developmental delays in what is a rapidly expanding space industry. Today, 3D printing technology using heat-resistant metal alloys is revolutionizing trial and error rocket development. Whole structures that would have previously required hundreds of distinct components can now be printed in a matter of days. This means you can expect to see many more rockets blowing into tiny pieces in the coming years. But the parts they're actually made of are set to become larger and fewer as the private sector space race intensifies. Today, let us talk about the Starship which Elon Musk created with 3D printing technology in just three days. That sounds amazing, right? Let's know further about this innovation. But before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any updates from the world of space. Rocket engines generate the energy equivalent of detonating a ton of TNT every second directing that energy into an exhaust that reaches temperatures well over 3,000 degrees Celsius. Those engines that manage this without rapidly dissembling in an unscheduled fashion takes at least three years to engineer from scratch, most of which is taken up by the cyclical process of redesign, rebuild, refine, and repeat. That's because rocket engines are incredibly complex. The Saturn V's F1 engines that blasted Neil Armstrong toward the moon in 1969 each had 5,600 manufactured parts. Many of them were sourced from different suppliers and had to be individually welded or bolted together by hand, which took time. The key to fast engine development is to reduce the number of parts, which reduces the time it takes to assemble the engine and the disruption caused by supply chain delays. The easiest way to do this is to change manufacturing processes. Space companies are now moving away from subtractive manufacturing processes, which remove material to shape a part, to additive manufacturing processes that build up a part by adding material to it bit by bit. That means 3D printing. Increasingly, engineers are favoring a process called selective laser sintering to 3D print rocket engine parts in an additive process. It works by first layering down a layer of metal powder before melting shapes into the powder with lasers. The metal binds where it's melted and remains powder where it's not. Once the shape has cooled, another layer of powder is added, and the part is built up layer by layer. For rocket engines, an Inconel copper super alloy powder is used because it can withstand very high temperatures. Selective laser sintering allows for multiple components to be printed in-house as one unified part in a matter of days. When an RUD occurs and the fault is found, engineers can create a fix using 3D modeling software, integrating highly complex parts into new rocket engines for test firing a few days later. Using 3D printing also helps manufacturers reduce the weight of the complete rocket, as fewer nuts, bolts, and welds are required to produce their complex structure. 3D printing is especially useful in manufacturing an engine's complex regeneratively cooled nozzle, which routes cool fuel around the hot engine to simultaneously cool the engine walls and preheat the cold fuel before combustion. That matters for private space enterprises. Building a rocket isn't cheap. Investors may get flighty as the heap begins to mount. Companies to launch payloads into space take a public relations knock whenever they're forced to push back their launch schedule on account of faulty rockets. Virtually all new rocket companies and space startups are adopting 3D metal printing technology. It accelerates their development phase, helping them survive the crucial years before they manage to get anything into space. Of note, our Rocket Lab, which uses its 3D printed engine to launch rockets from New Zealand, and Relativity Space, which is 3D printing its entire rocket. In the UK, there's Skyrora and Orbex. The latter aims to launch a rocket using a 3D printed engine as early as 2022. Spacecraft development is a risky and sometimes explosive business. SpaceX's Starship prototype spacecraft is an example of that. The fully reusable launch system for eventual Moon and Mars trips is no stranger to explosions, ruptures, and failed landings. Many of these failures happen, therefore, simply because Starship is a new system trying to do unusual things. All the same, the footage is clear and entertaining, examples of some of the challenges of spacecraft development. Elon Musk appeared to take the failure in stride and to be thinking ahead about strengthening SN2. From manufacturing rocket engines to launch vehicle parts, 
3D printing disrupts yet another industry by offering design freedom, reducing weight, and lowering costs. The journey into space commercialization has already begun, and AM is becoming a big part of it. Even the ISS has become a testbed for commercially designed 3D printing technologies. Working towards faster lead times, companies like Made in Space, Aerojet, Rocketdyne, and Blue Origin are partnering with traditional 3D printing manufacturers and service providers to expand their roster of printed parts. The technology gives engineers a powerful tool to improve rocket manufacturing that has otherwise remained unchanged. Innovative visionaries, like the founders of Relativity Space, have even gone as far as creating their own additive technologies to develop fully 3D printed rockets in record time. With 3D printing, SpaceX can create its incredibly powerful Super Draco thrusters, a critical component of the Crew Dragon's launch abort system, LAS. The Super Draco is an advanced version of the Draco engines used by SpaceX Cargo Dragon spacecraft to maneuver in orbit and during re-entry. The first demo mission of the Crew Dragon spacecraft with 3D printed Super Draco engines took off in March 2019. The Crew Dragon's highly anticipated final test mission was successfully launched and returned in the summer of 2020 with two astronauts on board. The project that began life in Musk's overactive mind more than a decade ago is every bit as ambitious as his pronouncement this week said, I'll be surprised if we're not landing on Mars within five years. Starship will be the first spacecraft in which all components are fully reusable reducing significantly the traditional astronomic costs of space travel. It has an unprecedented in-flight refueling capacity, allowing for more frequent and efficient operations. As the visionary behind the return to human spaceflight from U.S. soil last year, for the first time since the retirement of NASA's shuttle fleet in 2011, Musk is confident that his 395-foot, 120-meter spacecraft, a full 32 feet taller than the Apollo-era Saturn V, can deliver. Time magazine, in honoring the billionaire entrepreneur, appeared to acknowledge that humankind's greatest achievements come from unorthodox minds. Musk, it said, is a madcap hybrid of Thomas Edison, P.T. Barnum, Andrew Carnegie, and Watchman's Dr. Manhattan, the brooding blue-skinned man-god who invents electric cars and moves to Mars. Sean O'Keefe, a former head of NASA, said Musk had repeatedly challenged the traditional rules of spaceflight with great success. One of the things that he has artfully figured out how to do is, whenever there has been any doubt about his ability to accomplish something, in some period of time thereafter, he has focused his attention, expertise, and talent to go out and demonstrate that you can do it. With that, this concludes today's video. Let us know your thoughts on this. We are happy to hear from you as well. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you again with more updates.